God. I was freezing. All right. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shane Cooper, and today we're gonna start the 30 day cold shower challenge. Now this is something I've heard from Wim Hof. I'm not sure if you've heard of him. He's the ice man and he is insane in a good way. Um, he's been swimming in cold lakes, cold rivers, you name it, cold water sources. He loves cold water. And in his book, he talks a lot about the benefits of cold showers. Full disclosure, I have done a 30 day cold shower challenge. Now the one I did before was a little bit different. I would take a warm shower and then at the end change it to cold. Now for this 30 day challenge, I'm only going to take cold showers. Right now I'm currently living in St. Kitts. So it's a warmer client. It's in the Caribbean and the water gets only so cold. So for the first part of the challenge, I'm going to be only taking cold showers and partway through this video, I'm actually going to be moving back to Vancouver, Canada, where I will continue the challenge. Keep in mind in Vancouver, it's about five to 15 degrees Celsius. I'm usually taking my showers early in the morning. So that cold water, it's not going to feel so good. So I don't really know what to expect from this challenge. I don't know if what positive impacts I'm going to see in my life, in my, my well-being and my immune system thoughts I'm going to have, if I'm going to dread taking that cold shower in the morning, or if I'm actually going to look forward to it, I think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Maybe I'll look forward to it. Maybe I won't, but we'll see. Stay tuned guys on my journey over the next 30 days of the cold shower challenge. So this is day one of a cold shower. I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, I have taken cold showers before, but mostly I'll finish off with cold. I won't usually do cold showers the whole way through, but here we go. Okay. Oh, all right, it's not bad. Once you get in it, then it's okay. So we are on day number two of cold showers. We'll see how it goes. So far, so good. All right, I have to say that was not the most enjoyable experience. I was looking forward to a warm shower and I actually forgot that I was doing this challenge but I had to stick to it. I did the cold shower. It wasn't the most enjoyable experience, but, but I did it. Day three. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I don't love it. I'm not, I don't love it. <laughs> okay. Day number three complete for cold showers. I have to admit I was feeling a little bit tired before I hop in the shower, but that, that cold water hitting your body, it really wakes you up. So I have to say I, I didn't enjoy it at the beginning, but the result that I got in the end, feeling more awake, more ready to go, I'm happy about that. So, so after about five, 10 seconds, that's the worst part of the shower. After that, everything feels fine you know it's just the initial 10 seconds where it's a bit uncomfortable but after that it feels good it feels normal or it's starting to feel normal so i thought each day would become a little bit easier but usually i i golf in the morning and then i shower so i'm usually a bit sweaty and it's when i get in the shower it's it's a bit easier this morning I took a shower in the morning without doing anything beforehand and it, it took me about 20 seconds. It took me a lot longer to actually get comfortable in the shower. And I don't know if I actually became fully comfortable, but that's, that's day six out of the way. So 
See you in the next one. Okay, so day number eight is complete. I golfed earlier, so I think I would have taken a cold shower anyways because I was sweating a lot. Day number nine. It always takes a second to get used to. But once you're in, a little bit better. A couple deep breaths, and that becomes okay. All right, that's day number 10. I'm not actually looking forward to this one. I just went scuba diving, and I was in a cold wetsuit, and I was really looking forward to a hot shower, so. Since it's been 11 days since I started this challenge, I thought it would be a good idea to sit in front of the camera and say how I, I feel. One positive thing that I can say about this whole challenge over the last 11 days is I used to take 20 minute showers. I loved hot showers, so doing this challenge, it was, it was a bit challenging to even get started with it because I really look forward to it. But then when I think about it, I've been wasting, you know, 15, 20 minutes just sitting in the shower, sitting under the hot water. And what really has that been doing for me? I don't know if there's been any positive benefits besides, you know, wasting time and having wasting water as well. So number one, I save water. Number two, I save time. The benefits of cold water has a lot better impact on my immune system than hot water does. I'd say I feel more energy than I usually do. I believe my immune system is stronger from continuously taking cold showers. Now, my mood, I'd say my mood is the same. You know, I haven't seen any drastic improvements or decreases. I miss telling myself, oh, I can't wait for a hot shower. I actually still tell myself that and then I'm like, crap, I gotta take a cold shower. Over the last 11 days, I would say pretty much everything about this challenge has been very positive in my life. I save time, I save water. My immune system feels better, I feel better. Overall, last 11 days have been very, very positive. So on day 10 of this challenge, I had a slip up and I took a hot shower. I did fail this challenge, but I still wanted to continue it anyways, and I wanted to be completely upfront about the things that happened. So there it is, I took a hot shower. All right, so this is day number 14. I'm currently in Toronto at a Best Western. There's a snowstorm outside. It's negative five degrees. And look at that. So I was just in St. Kitts where it was 26, 27 degrees every day. And I really want a hot shower right now because it's cold in the room, it's cold outside, but I'm gonna push through. But I really don't want to, but that's, that's part of the challenge, so I'm gonna suck it up. Also, here in Toronto, the water is a lot colder than the Caribbean. Oh my God. Oh. God damn, I was freezing. All right. That was the toughest day yet. Oh my God. That was so cold. I did not get used to that water. It was freezing. It felt like I was being, it felt like I was being plunged into ice water, but Man, did that, that wake me up. Okay, <laughs> that was cold. Day 16, I'm back in Vancouver. This will be the first shower I've taken in Vancouver. It's not as cold as Toronto, but it's still pretty cold. The water's cold and the only thing with my shower, if the water's cold, it, the pressure isn't very strong, it kind of just trickles out. So, that's what I'm dealing with. 
All right, day 16. All right, so the water wasn't as cold as Toronto, but I'm really starting to question why I chose to do this challenge. The water, showers used to be something that I look forward to. Now, I kind of dread it. It's not enjoyable, the water is cold. Now, I'm curious to see if there will be any major benefits to my, my psyche, my immune system, but showers were something that I used to really look forward to and enjoy. One thing I've realized about taking cold showers is if I'm working out in the morning and I get in the cold shower, it's not as bad. If I haven't worked out that morning and I get in the shower, it's always much worse. But whether I'm working out or I'm taking a cold shower, that's going to wake me up. It's going to boost my energy. So, you know, it's not, it's not as enjoyable or it's, not, it's less enjoyable if I'm just getting in the shower without having a workout beforehand, but it always wakes me up. So that's a huge plus. On the other hand, it makes me also not want to shower because I know it's going to be uncomfortable. I know I'm not going to enjoy it. And at the end of it, I feel a boost of energy. So that's definitely a huge plus to cold showers in general. So yesterday I took a cold shower. I was in such a rush to have the shower and to get going that I didn't even notice the cold water really. I was too preoccupied on the things that I needed to do. So yeah, I think a lot of this is mind over matter. Okay, so I'm currently two thirds of the way through this challenge. There's been some ups and downs. I've enjoyed parts of it. There are days I didn't want to do it, days I was looking forward to it. Um, overall, you know, I'm happy I did it. It's been a challenge. Every time I'm in the shower, I want to turn it hot and just feel that, that water on my body for 20 seconds. But, you know, I got to push through. I'm seeing some benefits to it. It is different. It's uncomfortable. And I think for change in your life, you have to do things that are uncomfortable at times. So this is just a small thing that... You know, I can do it in my life that may push me outside of my comfort zone. Alright. Day 21. So we're on day 22 of the cold shower challenge. It's about 10 o'clock p.m. right now, so I'm about to head to bed. I don't want to take a cold shower, but let's do it anyways. All right, day 22 is complete. I'm not going to lie, this is not getting easier. I thought, you know, after seven days, it'll be normal and it'll feel nice and it won't be any problem, but honestly, I still crave a hot shower. Now what I've noticed, the colder the water is, the more impactful it is. <laughs> so what I mean by that is when the water is very cold, it kind of shocks my system more. It wakes me up. It's kind of like a, a jolt, a good jolt, <laughs> not like an electric shock, but definitely, you know, when the water is really cold, you can't really focus. So you're fully present in that moment because you can't really think about other things. You know, I couldn't think about other things because it's all I can focus on is the cold water and how that feels when it hits my body. I think the most benefit comes from when I'm not feeling very motivated in the morning or maybe I'm a bit tired and I get into that shower and it jolts me awake. I don't drink much caffeine, so if I can jump into a cold shower for a short period of time and feel that same increase in energy, then that, that is so beneficial. You know, especially when it can be done in just a minute, no substances are needed. That is awesome. I would honestly kill for a hot shower, but I'm sweaty. I gotta shower, I gotta do it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to take a cold shower, but I got to do it. That's it. Day 27. Woo. I'm getting excited that this is 
going to be over soon. But I have to say, after having a workout and hopping into the cold shower, it feels really nice. Would I want to do it every single day for the rest of my life? I don't know. That's, that's another question. All right, this is very exciting. I got two days left. One, two. This is the second last day. Tomorrow will be the last day. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, so this is the final day of the 30-day cold shower challenge. <laughs> it's, it's been a long road. You know, I'm happy that I did it. It was uncomfortable at times. And, you know, I'm happy to be on the last day. I think I've learned a lot from this. This has challenged me. It's made me uncomfortable. It's, you know, given me a different perspective on things. But, you know, I think in life, if you're not doing things that make you uncomfortable, you're not really growing as a person. Okay, so let's reflect on the last 30 days of this challenge. I think it's safe to say I was very hot and cold. Get it? No, but really, it was tough. There were times where I enjoyed it. There were times where I dreaded it. I did have one slip up on day 10 where I took a hot shower. It was a very hard challenge, but I'm glad I did it. Now, what are the benefits that this challenge did for me? Well, number one, when I wasn't ready to go in the morning, the water basically took the soul out of me and jolted me to life and gave me energy. Was it uncomfortable? Yes. Would I do it again? Possibly. I still do enjoy taking 30 seconds of cold water at the end of my showers, but I don't enjoy it all the way throughout. I think showers are, you know, something that I enjoy and why remove something from my life that I enjoy if I can also receive the benefits of a cold shower by doing it at the end. So what are the benefits that I noticed during this challenge? One. If I have a lack of energy and I take a cold shower, it's going to give me more energy. It's going to jolt me to life. Number two, I felt good. Never before, always after. Number three, I challenged myself and I took myself outside of my normal comfort zone. And number four, I don't want to say this will be the case for everyone and I have no scientific evidence to prove this but I feel like it did have a positive impact on my immune system. Now that might be just because of my mental state and how that made my body feel. So there's obviously different studies that have been done around this and you can do your own research, but ultimately this challenge is really about how it makes you feel. And overall, it made me feel great afterwards but not so great before I actually took the cold shower. Overall, I'm happy that I did it. I believe it was a successful experiment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.